Yep, do that one. So you can see the uh, input voltage here is uh, 39.2 volts. This is three 12 volt batteries hooked together in series. It's pretty cool because you can adjust your voltage. That's your input voltage. When that LED lights up on the left, that's your input voltage. There, if I push it again, this one on the right, it shows the output voltage, which is here, 12 volts. And put in 36 volts and run 12 volt LEDs or whatever I want. Or I reduce that even down further. Here's a USB port right here. I'm going to change that output voltage to 5 volts. This adjusts the charging amperage. This one. But I don't have any charging right now. See those LEDs are 12 volts. I'm going to turn it. It's at 8 volts right now. We're going to test it up to 12 volts and you're going to see how bright they get. This is really nice to be able to adjust this voltage just perfectly. There we go. 12 volts. I'd say. So let's see. It's drawing 0.95 amp. There's 60 LEDs in here. 0.95 amp. Say I turn it down to 7.37 volts. I can turn this down. one point two five volts that's the uh... how low of a voltage that i can go on it uh, and of course it will only go up as high as the input voltage so let's take this thing back up there's five six volts eight volts nine ten Seven, twelve volts. Can to turn the display on or off? Show the amperage there. Point nine five amp. Now I'm sure if you like to tinker, you're going to find this gadget pretty handy for a lot of projects. I know I can find a lot of things to do with it, like this. Okay, here I've got a 11.1 volt battery in it that is not very good. I think it has a bad cell. In fact, I know it has a bad cell. But I've got it plugged in. I will show you the input voltage is right here. Oh, it's showing 6.92. That's 11.1 .1 volt battery. It's bad. But 
Even with 6.92, let's say you want to run as a practical application LEDs that don't have the resistors in them like those ones for the uh, strips that you want to run 12 volts. They're actually 3 volt or 2.7 volt LEDs, but they put a resistor in it so you can run it on 12 volts. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to increase the voltage. The output voltage is set right here for 2.25 volts. That's not enough to light that LED, so simple enough, I will take this screwdriver. This adjusts the output voltage, and I'm going to increase the output voltage until that LED comes on. And you can see it very faintly starting to blink now. So it's a blinking LED, and the voltage is 269, 270. 228 290 I'm just going to take it right well 3 I'm over 3 now so we're just going to take it back a little bit here So close enough so there and this this just button on this side this shuts off the the tube so now you can see we are in a straight outline like that and um the blinking strobe. So if you wanted to run a whole string of just plain LEDs, which are really cheap, you could solder them together and uh, do something like that and run it on the battery. This battery is toast. I'm going to get rid of it. But I thought I'd just show you one of the practical applications here. And we will push this and it's that little thing is drawing 0.2 amp. And the 6 is the program. Now see, I used to have to program this. There's still the P in there, right there, that I could program in something, but there is no need to program anything because um, it, uh, it remembers it. Well, what I mean by that is whatever you're viewing, uh, i.e. current, which is amps, or the voltage, when you remove the power and apply it again, it remembers all your settings and even which view you were in when you shut it off. Pretty cool. So that's it, folks. You know, Drock or Drocking makes all kinds of modules and components, and I've in the past made videos on them as well. They have some newer ones that are pretty cool too. But for me, this one, based on the LM2596 chip, is just one of my favorites that I found and now have, because you know what happened to the last ones. So thanks a lot for watching, and if you know some geeks that may like to see something like this, please pass it on. So stay well, and God bless. This is Dave the Night Flyer. Signing off for now.